on the left there we've got a house that's been broken into and burgled and on the right we've got a recovered stolen vehicle. First of all we identify the points of entry and exit where we know for sure the offender has been. And in the house they gained entry through the front door and exited through a window. In the vehicle they entered and exited through one of the vehicle doors. So let's have a look what's been disturbed in these crime scenes. If you think of the burglary, then the offender will be searching for whatever it is they're after, jewellery, cash, uh, some other valuables. So things like books and ornaments might have been disturbed, so they might have um, fingerprints on them. Um, wallets, purses might have been searched through, cash credit cards taken, and then the, the remainder of the wallet or the purse discarded at the crime scene. Uh, in the vehicle, the rear view mirror might have been adjusted in order to uh, allow a driver of a different height to be able to see out the back of the car and steering wheel might have been uh, adjusted as well all things that then have been touched by the offender remember Lucard's principle every contact leaves a trace where there has been contact between the offender and those surfaces what's been left behind well at the burglary uh, the offender um, might have smoked a cigarette lots of things they could have left fingerprints on or uh, DNA represented there by blood footwear impressions they must have walked over the crime scene um, if they disturb something like um, flour or sugar in the kitchen they might have trod that over um, a floor um, they might have uh, come into the house uh, from outside when it's wet or muddy and left a, a muddy footwear impression inside they might have used a tool there, that screwdriver, to force open the door to get entry. They might have left fibres from their clothing behind. If, if they sat down or knelt down on the floor in a chair, they might have left fibres. Same sort of things in the vehicle as well, what's been left behind. Um, but you might find in the vehicle that the offender, whilst they're driving the vehicle, has a drink from a can or a bottle and discards the can or bottle in the vehicle, chews gum and then spits it out in the vehicle footwell as well. And finally, what's been removed from the crime scene? Well, if to gain entry, um, the window was smashed in both the house and the vehicle, you might be leaving um, glass um, from the broken window at the crime scene and you'll be taken away some of that glass as well as we've seen earlier on your nice woolly jumper in your head hair and you might be removing fibers as well um, particularly I think at the vehicle crime where you have to sit in the seat and as well as leaving some of your fibers on the driver's seat you'll be taking fibers away of the people who normally drive that vehicle with you so they're the sort of things at common everyday offences that CSIs might be called to that you might be looking for, you might be recovering in terms of forensic evidence types.